one doesn't often find India skipper Virat Kohli bowing down to someone during a game. Given the charisma he possesses and the flamboyant attitude that shrouds him, he's usually the one rest of the world bows down to. And thus, it was a rare sight on Sunday when the 28-year-old could be seen carrying out the gesture during India's innings. It was Virat Kohli's 200th ODI and he lived up to the moment in great style by notching up his 31st hundred. It also put him second on the all-time list of number of centuries scored in the 50-over format with only Sachin Tendulkar, 49, ahead of him now. India were off to a jittery start on Sunday, losing both the openers within the first six overs. And with the middle-order trio of Kedar Jadhav, 12, Dinesh Karthik, 37, and MS Dhoni, 25, failing to build on their starts, Kohli took on the charge on his shoulders and slammed the cracking 121 off 125 deliveries. Losing wickets at regular intervals also hurt India's run rate, and by the time Hardik Pandya, 16, walked back, India were reeling at 238 for the loss of six wickets after 45.3 overs. However, while the Kiwis were hoping to tighten the screws and hold India around the 250 mark, Bhuvneshwar Kumar, who hit a Bodhi half-century a couple of weeks back, took charge and made a quick-fire 15-ball 26, including two sixes and fours. And one of them, a six-over long on-off Adam Milne, earned him the bow-down gesture from his captain who was vividly impressed by the manner in which the short ball was pulled with a straight bat down the ground. But the temporary carnage hardly helped India's cause as the modest 281-run target was easily scaled down by New Zealand who rode on the brilliant knocks from Tom Latham, 103 and Ross Taylor, 95, to steer their side to victory and take a 1-0 lead in the three-match series.